Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay. Um, doing another video on the Malibu Ultraverse um, comics that I love so much that nobody else apparently did. Um, today I'm looking at Mantra. Out of all of the titles, Mantra has been the hardest one to locate for me. For me to track these things down has been more difficult than I really feel like it should. You know, I just want to find them in a store and pay like a buck for them. They're, they're, and they're, they're much harder to find than that, apparently. So luck has not been with me, but I've got quite a few of them here and I'm just going to run through them. Um, my special guest action figures today are Mumra and Slythe from the Funko line, a line which gets a lot of hate, but not from me. Um, so we got issue one and two, three. Now, if you've ever seen a cover of Mantra, You've either seen that one or this one because there this is like I don't know if they made like three times as many of these two covers as any other cover But I see these damn things everywhere and nowhere else like I don't see any of the other issues hardly um, For those of you who don't know the tale or the the whatnot of mantra mantra is an ancient um, warrior dude Yes, yeah, a dude whose soul gets thrust into the future and stuck in this lady's body. And so he's like this gruff, like, ancient, you know, barbarian warrior whatever guy stuck in the modern era, in the Ultraverse, in the body of a woman. So, and then hijinks ensue. Yes. Um, very odd. Definitely one of the more odd of the main uh, Ultraverse titles. But a very enjoyable book with very enjoyable art um, and a lot of just clever concepts in it. I, I really enjoyed the book, I, at least what I've read from it. Yes, that is a disturbing cover. It just is, for all the reasons I just explained. Okay, now, this was not one of the longest running. I think this one only ran 24 issues. There she is fighting Topaz. Um, and there, there's a whole giant size versus her and Topaz. Apparently they hated each other. Okay, so it ended at issue 24 and, and Marvel bought it all out. And when they bought it, they did continue to publish it. And you had this new mantra. And she's blonde and she's actually a girl and there's not really like a dude inside a woman's body anymore. So that weird dynamic of the character was gone. And apparently so was a lot of interest in the book, and it didn't last very long, and I don't have very many issues of it. And then back in the Ultraverse uh, Malibu days, there was a, a brief series called Necromantra. And I don't have all of those either. But the art was fantastic. Anyway, uh, like I said, one of the weirder Malibu Ultraverse titles. Uh, you, know, you know if you've seen any of my other videos that I love Ultraverse. And that's why I choose to make some videos of it, because... Somebody had to, and that's my story. I'll catch you guys later.